Y'all see the chaos going on right now in the world? Do y'all realize that they have let in hundreds of terrorists in the United States? You can look it up. Hundreds of them. Do you think it's a game out here? You better know who you roll with. You better know who you serve. If you are put in position where your fleshly body, your fleshly life is in jeopardy, are you going to keep the faith? Are you going to stay with the Lord? Fear not the man who can take your body, but fear the one who can destroy your soul and your body. Many of these people are in mass, mass deception. They are taking people's lives, yelling out, God is the greatest. Innocent lives. Allah Akbar. Innocent life. Allah Akbar. They think they're doing a service for God. You know what Hamas in Hebrew means? It means violence. Hamas in Hebrew is translated to violence. Boy, oh boy. My Lord. Where are we at in time? This is not a movie. And please stop commenting in my comments. We're going to fly away. Please. Miss me with the scary stuff. It's time to be soldiers for God. Rejoice in your tribulation, the word says. Rejoice, but you have the victory, my brothers and sisters. Whether you're on this planet or not, hallelujah, rejoice. They used to rejoice when they were giving their life up for the Lord. Back in the day, the early martyrs, they used to rejoice. There are stories of women who had to give their life up because they wouldn't deny the Lord. They had kids and their kids had to be taken too. And then the women would say, I wish I had more kids to give to the Lord. <sighs> are you there? Now you can see the difference of our relationship and how the relationship with the Lord was back then. You know why? Interpretation of scripture and understanding of the spiritual aspect of the word of God, which a lot of us have fell away from. We don't truly know God the spiritual way he wants us to know him. But hallelujah. The hour is coming where the true worshipers will worship him in spirit and truth. The word of God says, and that's exactly where we're at. True revelation reigning, my Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. True revelation reigning. And we're going back to how they interpreted scriptures back in the day. How the early church fathers interpreted scriptures. Do you know that there were early church fathers who they tried to burn and they would not burn? Go do study on Polycarp, a bishop in the early church. When they tried to burn Polycarp, he wouldn't burn. He smelt like bread. Hallelujah. He smelt like bread. They had to stab him. And so much blood came out that it quenched the fire. Hallelujah. The early church fathers said apostles and prophets would be around until the ending of the age. Ephesians 3.5 says that God hands down his secrets and mysteries to his apostles and prophets. So when you say something like apostles and prophets do not exist nowadays, you're saying that God is not handing down no more revelation. Do you understand what you're saying? You are in full deception and if a teacher is teaching you that I advise you to leave. Because if the early church fathers said that there would be apostles and prophets until the end of the age, and those were the very first disciples of the very first apostles where the very first interpretation of scripture came, very first teachers back then when father was passing down tradition from son to son to son to son until a great falling away had happened like Jesus said it would now you got teachers out here teaching differently than the early church fathers taught so if your teacher is telling you that there's no more apostles and prophets when the early church fathers said that there would be until the ending of the age your teacher is teaching a doctrine of demons you are fully deceived you teach a different gospel, Galatians 1.8, than the one that the apostles taught, you will be cursed. So hear what I'm telling you right now, because I'm telling you what they believed in the beginning, before the falling away, before Roman Catholicism came in in 325 AD with Roman Emperor Constantine. I'm telling you what they believed in the beginning. Now granted, there are many, many false apostles, many, many false prophets, many. But there are rare, real ones. Revelation is being poured out. Spirit of God is being poured out. We're going back into truth. May the fire of the Lord consume you, refine you, and purify you like gold being refined. May you be presented without blemish. May you be filled with the Holy Spirit. So this type of stuff doesn't bring fear to you. Don't be afraid, my brothers and sisters. We have the victory. And the remnant of God is rising. The glory of God is coming. For those truly walking with the Lord. Believe me when I tell you this. When the glory of God hits. When that great and terrible day hits. There will be people that come into a glorified state. And put on what Adam took off. On earth. You will see people walking around. And you will know they are children of God. Because Christ is illuminating in them so much. The glory of God is on them. We are coming in a time where... Hospitals 
are going to be emptied because so many people are going to be coming to where the children of God are to be healed. We are coming in that time. We're coming into that day. All this nonsense about Hamas and all that, it doesn't bring no fear to my heart. I know the glory is coming. As the early church brothers and sisters said, when they were being fed to lions, when they were being set on fire for different parties, when they were being stretched out by horses, when they were being skinned alive, as they said to each other, Keep the faith.